New U.S. intelligence reportedly suggests that a pro-Ukrainian group was responsible for exploding the Nord Stream natural gas pipelines in September 2022, months after Russia invaded Ukraine. The pipelines, which link Russia with Germany, were sabotaged by a group of Ukrainian or Russian nationals or a combination of the two, according to unnamed U.S. officials cited by the New York Times. There is no evidence suggesting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky or the Ukrainian government were responsible, officials said, though intelligence suggests the perpetrators opposed Russian President Vladimir Putin. The Nord Stream projects have been criticized for increasing European dependence on Russian gas and for depriving Ukraine of a major revenue source. However, the reported link between a pro-Ukrainian group and the pipeline explosions is still under investigation and has not been confirmed. Not everything is as it seems. One article from The Guardian suggests that the explosions were not that consequential in terms of supplies since Nord Stream 2 was not yet online and Nord Stream 1 had been closed indefinitely by Russia a few weeks before the explosions. However, a report from the Washington Examiner claims that a highly trained team of U.S. Navy divers placed remotely controlled explosives on the pipelines under the cover of a joint NATO maritime exercise in June 2022. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal reports that U.S. officials are investigating the possibility that a pro-Ukrainian group may have been responsible for the attack. It's important to note that at this time, no definitive proof or official statement has been made about who is responsible for the explosions. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. Determining responsibility for an event like the Nord Stream pipeline explosions would require a thorough investigation by authorities. This may involve collecting and analyzing physical evidence, interviewing witnesses and suspects, and conducting forensic analyses. The investigation could also involve cooperation and coordination among international law enforcement agencies and intelligence services. It is important to note that investigations can take time and may not always result in a definitive conclusion or attribution of responsibility. Ultimately, it will be up to the investigating authorities to determine who may be responsible for the Nord Stream pipeline explosions based on the evidence available to them. Even if the investigation comes to definite conclusion don't forget, don't believe everything you hear and always check your sources.